good morning. Did you have a nice morning nap? <laughs> Look who's woken up from his nap. Oh my god, he's getting so big. Whenever I, ooh, whenever I post any pictures on his Instagram and everything, everyone always says, he's getting so big. He's on walks now which is exciting, we can go on a walk later. I've just got a wash load on. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day will already have gone for you guys, but I thought I would vlog today. I've just got ready, done my hair and makeup, just in casual clothes this morning. And then I think me and Tom are gonna have a little date night tonight. He's gonna cook. He's bought us some steaks and he's gonna make mac and cheese with fries. And then we're gonna do some kind of a dessert. I think we're gonna do Valentine's Day brunch this morning and take him for a little walk. Um, you're right, pal. You still snoozing? You still just snoozing? Oh my. Okay, he's cleaning himself. We'll just put him down there. Welcome to today's vlog. I hope you guys had a lovely Valentine's Day, whatever you got up to. Um, I actually have a sponsor for today's video which is so exciting and it is something practical so for those of you guys out there that like me like practicality then you're gonna like this one we have been after for the longest time pretty much since we moved in six months ago a dehumidifier for down in the basement now it's not that damp as far as basements go. However, it is definitely um, needing a dehumidifier down there because we are storing things down there once we get on with renovations. So in order to protect our belongings and just make sure everything is nice and dry down there, we have been after one for the longest time. So the fact that Miko very kindly reached out and wanted to send me one of their dehumidifiers, I was like, perfect, amazing, thank you so much. So if you have a room in particular that you need to keep on top of condensation, perhaps you've got like a utility room or a uh, washroom that, you know, help dry your laundry quicker, or if you've got any signs of damp in your house, then definitely check out Miko. I will leave a link in the description box below to the one that I have. They do have different sizes as well from 10, 12, 20 liters. Look at him snoozing again already. <laughs> uh, depending on your needs. It's got low noise levels, which is one thing I was really um, after. And especially as if you are gonna use it in a room that is maybe like a kitchen or a utility where you don't want to have like a really noisy system. And it also has low energy consumption as well, which is a massive bonus. So when the 2.6 litre tank is full, it does actually automatically switch off. And also has a drain port as well, which you can attach to just like a regular garden hose. It does come with a two year parts and labor warranty as well, just for added peace of mind when investing your money into a really good quality dehumidifier. And you can find them on Amazon, John Lewis, Curry's, Homebase. So anyway, I have noticed a difference already, which is absolutely amazing and definitely worth checking out if it's something that you are currently in the market for. So thank you to Miko for firstly providing us with a system that we were after anyway and also of course sponsoring today's video. How is he still sleeping? Mind you, what time is it? Yeah, he's due his next food in like an hour or so. So I think we're gonna get on with creating a bit of a Valentine's Day brunch. I've got a few decorations. I might even try and get a little picture of him for Valentine's Day for his Instagram. I'm so excited for some food. I'm so hungry and coffee as well. Coffee is an essential in my life right now, especially with having to wake up for toilet breaks during the night with him coffee is needed and then we can get ready and have a fun little date night tonight with Tommy it's Valentine's Day I mean what else can you do in lockdown other than maybe have just a date night at home I don't know are these not the most beautiful flowers no we're not married I've crossed it out and put boyfriend <laughs> um that Tom very kindly bought me for Valentine's if you're local to Manchester and coach florist on Instagram she is amazing she just creates the most beautiful bouquet so oh. thank you so much oh that's a little rumble from Barney Boo he's got his bow tie on Looking handsome as ever. We got some Insta pics, didn't we, Barney? And now we're gonna go on walkies. I think he's keen to go on a walk because usually putting on a collar means going for walkies, doesn't it, Barney? Come on then, let's go.
He always looks back for a bit of reassurance. It is cold. Look, Bunny, come. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. And he's off. We have a few fun little decorations that I need to sort of put out for our little brunch. We've got these heart-shaped balloons. I'll be interested to see what he thinks of these. Ten pack of them. These are all Poundland, if you remember from my Poundland haul. Some fan decorations and some more there. Some napkins. Tom's card. Little message board. Oh, and then how can I not forget my little... Uh, brunch accessories this little milk jug it's not really valentine's day themed but i picked that up from the range you may have seen my recent range haul and then this which is a cute little toast rack heart shaped from poundland adorable but not as adorable as you <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> barney boo has found his voice this week haven't you simba I call him my little Simba. Barney Boo, don't bite me. Ow, go away then, go on. Don't even want you anyway. <laughs> now I don't want to scare you, Barney, but you've never seen a balloon before. I don't think. Mm. Oh. <laughs> he knows what's coming. Some dogs absolutely love balloons. What's that? He's a nice balloon. No. <laughs> what is it? Boop. Oh. <laughs> <He's gone. laughs> what do we think of his little bandana? I love my human. Look at them teeth. His teeth are going to start falling out soon. All your little baby teeth are going to start falling out. Are you alright? Are you alright? Oh my god. Why is that so hard to blow? Oh my god! Right, well we're not blowing up any more of them. Wow. So ideas for brunch, we've got these little waffles, which we actually had one already first thing this morning before our walk, so good. So I'm gonna take them out the wrapper. We've got some scrambled egg that Tom's gonna do. We're gonna have maybe a bagel. We've got some berries, some strawberries and raspberries. And I was thinking about maybe doing them in this puff pastry. If you saw, what video was it? My Tesco's haul, I got that and it runs out of date in a couple of days. So I thought, well, we can use that on Valentine's Day. The only thing is, I didn't realize this when I picked it up, is gluten-free. I'm sure we'll still like it, but I'm thinking some berries on that, and then Tom's just about to open this, the Just Roll um, croissants, which is so good. Oh, and I can have my morning coffee in my Valentine's Day mug. Yay! There's little man just having a little chill out sesh aren't you and then if you are wondering where these bowls are from i just left the this little one over here as well we'll 
use that for some berries maybe i got these from home bargains super affordable at just like one to three pounds ish so yeah they have plates as well but i just went for the bowls mm, look at that so yeah how's your eye after that balloon popped in your face no it's better than it's you can see out of it now <laughs> it's not good that they must just be like tiny balloons or just really weak i don't know You know, the, the, the drift, the, the angle, and then the... No. Bon appetit. This is what we have come up with, created. We've got some scrambled egg, toast bagels, little chocolate crispy bites, berries, milk for my coffee. Tom doesn't have milk. Croissants, pastries, waffles, beautiful flowers, chocolates over there, and... My love. And yes, that's cricket on the TV in the background. Look at this Instagram. -er. Get that angle. Yum. Bon appetit. So it's now getting dark outside. Oh, hello. We're gonna go for a quick toilet break. Well, I say we. And then I just need to nip to the shop to get us. I'm gonna see if they have... Oh my God, that is ridiculous. <laughs> he would love that. Look at his nose going. Oh my goodness. So we're having... Come on, Chef Tom, what are we having tonight? We're having tea bon steak. No, you need to speak up. Tea bon steak. <laughs> um... Don't shout at me. <laughs> Tea bon steak with triple cup chips and beef dripping. Anyone else's boyfriends who like cooking throw a tea towel over their shoulder like this? <laughs> steak, mac cheese, fries, asparagus by the looks of it. Oh, it's fine. It's real life, you know. He's making the fries and I said, of all the things, I would have thought he would have preferred to make the mac cheese. But anyway. And what are you cooking there? This is Bernays sauce from scratch, it's tough. From scratch, it's, it's tough. tough. I'm gonna go see if we can find us a dessert. We've got a bottle of red to crack open. Let me just pop him down for a sec. I think we should go with this one, which is the part aged in rum barrels one. Anyway, he's crying for the toilet. Battery's about to die. We'll update you with the cooking progress as we go. My little shopping trip out was a success. <gasps> I've just realised these are out of date. Oh yeah. Oh well, it's only a day. I'm not not having it, let's be honest. Um, village was so busy. I feel like people, a lot of people are getting takeaways. Mm, thanks for cooking for me. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to get into an outfit. Valentine's Day outfit. I'm not gonna stay in it, because let's be honest, it ain't me. So, three options I've picked out from what I can salvage from this beautifully floral room that we are obviously still yet to renovate is this dress, which I love. I wore this in South Africa. It's an Opoly dress. And it's like a beautiful kind of nude colour, 
ruching, a bit of piping and boning. This is the only real colourful item I have in my wardrobe, a bright red dress. So I feel like I might just put that on just to go downstairs. Um, or the other option that I had was this corset again from Oh Polly. I actually don't know where that dress is from. I thought that with maybe some tailored trousers or like even just jeans. It is a really nice top. The only thing is I can't really breathe in it much. Mind you, I can't really breathe in any of them. The only other dilemma, absolutely zero idea where any heels are. So it's literally a case of wearing a dress but with some slippers. <laughs> Hence why I might have a glass of red, go down in a nice red dress, get back into my pyjamas. I was actually going to treat myself to a new pair of like Valentine's themed pyjamas. I couldn't really see any like nice ones. Okay this mirror is shocking but it's all we've got. This is the red dress, red number, bit of colour in my wardrobe, I know. What are you doing out? Ah, ah, down, 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 down. I don't know if you can go downstairs. Oh god, oh god. Come here, go down. Oh god, I knew you were gonna fall. <laughs> He's fine. Oh, come on, in we go. He fell down the stairs. He fell down the stairs? Yeah. Well, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? <laughs> Are we ready, Barney? <gasps> yeah. So, quick update. Where are we at? Whoa, what is this gadget you've got? So, I can put that upstairs. Right. Chips have been cut and washed. Mm -hmm. Butter that's been clarified. Lovely. Let's ignore the dirty hob. We'll clean shallots, that after. Shallots, white wine vinegar. Um, Tarragon. I see what you've done here with the mac and cheese. No one will ever know. Entered beautifully in a Le Creuset dish with some cheese scattered on the top. Do you want a glass of red, Barney? Right, we've only got wine, white wine glasses. These are all we have. These are Zara Home, and they're gonna have to do. Oh God, it's a cork one. <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's give Barney his dinner first. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I'll take it. Excited. Oh, my God. Leave <laughs> yeah. it. Good boy. <laughs> Old waitressing skills coming into play here. No. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that? I got stuck in my neck. This is my actual old waitress friend that I used to use when I used to work at Man United. Oh god it's wedged right in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah red wine and white wine glasses why not? We'll just have a glug for now. A bit of ASMR. Ooh, yeah. Cheers. That was loud cheers. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, no. No. You like Puppy it? food. Oh, wow. Well. Funny, look forward. Funny. Okay. What is this? <laughs> you must be summit in that. Simba, is it? You're my baby Simba. Oh. Oh. I love how he does this. So cute. Right, Tom's been cooking for about an hour. I'm not gonna lie, I'm done with the dress. Let me put you here. I wouldn't say it's Valentine's necessarily themed, but I did get sent this from a lovely girl on Instagram who has created these Bridgerton style sweatshirts. So I'm actually just gonna put this on. Also, I can't keep taking Barney out for a toilet break in this dress. <laughs> So Tom's having to do both and I'm like, no, let me just, let me get back into my comfies and then I can actually enjoy my dinner as well. Now I've actually not lit these candles since we've had Barney just because, I don't know, something about like lighting candles and dogs and stuff. That I've just been super cautious and just not really used any non-pet friendly cleaning products. These wicks need trimming for sure. Um, and I've also just not really been lighting any wax melts or anything in the kitchen. We have the White Company Ginger burning this evening. The curtains are all poked up there because, yep, they hang down, which means Barney chews them. Steak is in the pan. We are nearly ready to eat. That is ridiculous. 
Wow. Can you make sure my steak's well done, please? <laughs> it's fine. That would be our last Valentine's Day. That would be our last Valentine's, would it? <laughs> Thank you for not having this steak. Well done. Cheers. We're in. Google. Set the time for two minutes. We're in. Two minute countdown. Look at that handsome boy with his bow tie. Dinner is served. We have steak, frite, bernay sauce, asparagus, and mac and cheese, which is my absolute fave. I cannot wait to duck into this. Woo! We're watching the bay, and this guy needs to go sleepies. Go have a nap, don't you? We are, oh God, he's going in for the in for the kill. I thought we'd have plenty for sandwiches tomorrow. We do, that's what I'll meet that. And little man over there is fast asleep. And that sums up our Valentine's Day for 2021. A little bit different to our first ever Valentine's Day when we were in Dublin, which was pretty special. I feel like a lot of people will have done date nights in this year, a bit more like chilled, but um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. We've had a really good day. I wanted to thank Miko again for very kindly sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending Valentine's Day with us this year, and I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Cheers.